No, it's okay to shed a few tears, but if you get so emotional that, that you need somebody to hold your hand and, and hold you around the shoulders, then that's a problem. So being emotional and share, showing a little bit of emotion actually can help you connect with a family, but you don't want to lose control of your emotions and be crying so much that, that uh, you're no help to the family. Uh, and matter of fact, some people will really resent you if you cry too much. Uh, even if you knew the person, if you're there to minister to the, the people that lost their loved one, uh, shedding a tear or two can be really connecting. Crying and sobbing uh, not only can prevent you from ministering to them and, and being a, a, a comfort and a help, uh, it can cause the, the victims to, to actually resent you for what you're doing. Why, explain briefly why, why is that? They may resent you because they may think this is my grief and you are, are kind of uh, uh, taking over or, uh, uh, what's the word, kidnapping my, their grief from them. You're, you're taking their, their grief from them and uh, uh, it's their time to cry. It's their time to need somebody. Uh, it's not your time to be the needy person. What is the most common mistake that you see uh, when, someone just, when someone is in uh, acute grief like that? Probably the most common mistake I see when someone is really in acute grief is uh, to try to, to, to stop their grief, to tell them uh, not to cry, or to, uh, if it's a child, tell them that they need to grow up and, and be a man, or men don't cry. Uh, the best thing you could do for someone that's really grieving, uh, give them some water, be there to comfort them, allow them to cry it out, let them get some of that grief out. Uh, giving them a, a bottle of water will, will tend to, to actually settle them down uh, because it's, it's actually kind of hard to cry when you're drinking water. Uh, but just allowing them to express that grief because once they shove it down, it's really hard to access that grief again. If, it's, if they shove it down inside, it may just sit there and, and brew for a long time and eat at them. If they're allowed to get some of that grief out, and, and I don't necessarily mean getting violent or, or punching a wall or, or yelling and screaming, but allowing them to, to cry those tears and to, to express that emotion can be very healing.